Meet Louisa. Louisa spends hours in bed every night scrolling through her For You page. She almost feels as if she can't even go a few hours during the day without checking the TikTok app, and this has even prevented her from spending time with her parents at home. She just checked her screen time, and astounded by the number she saw beside that little musical note, she thought to herself, oh my gosh, am I addicted to TikTok? If you find yourself relating to Louisa, this video is for you. Welcome back to the Demystifying Medicine McMaster YouTube channel. Today, we're going to be talking about addictions to TikTok. TikTok addictions fall under the broader classification of a behavioral addiction. These are a type of addiction in which a person feels compelled to engage in non-substance related behavior despite any detrimental effects on their physical, emotional, social, or financial well-being. Interestingly, the only behavioral addiction recognized by the DSM-5 is gambling disorder. However, many more exist, like addictions to the internet, video games, exercise, and social media. Some of the signs and consequences of, of a behavioral addiction can include symptoms of depression, anxiety, or distress when trying to stop a behavior, social isolation, being unable to focus on duties without thinking about a behavior, and ignoring obligations to family, work, or school. So what's going on in the brain when an addiction is developed? Addictions, both behavioral and substance, heavily involve the brain reward pathway, among others. When humans find an activity pleasurable, the brain's reward system releases a hormone called dopamine. This causes the brain to focus more attention on that experience, and as a result, we're left with a strong memory of the pleasure we felt. This strong memory then causes us to seek more of that feeling, and we repeat the behavior over and over. As we scroll on TikTok, we come across videos that appeal to us, and it causes that dopamine release. We start to link these types of videos with pleasurable feelings, and so we continue to scroll. This is what makes TikTok so addicting. The TikTok addiction is further heightened by two factors. First, as we scroll through fairly short videos, there's more opportunity for dopamine release. Secondly, as the algorithm curates the For You page to align with videos that you enjoy, the likelihood that you will come across pleasurable videos increases, and so does the likelihood of release of dopamine. Now that we know this, how can TikTok addictions be treated? Clinically, one way to treat behavioral addictions is through medication, which helps to prevent cravings by blocking the effects of dopamine. Another form of treatment is psychosocial intervention, which encourages abstinence by avoiding or coping with high-risk situations and making lifestyle changes that reinforce healthier behaviors. More accessible ways of managing a TikTok addiction have also been suggested, such as relying on a distractor task that also induces the release of dopamine. However, more research in this area is required. Thank you for watching this video. Today, we talked about what behavioral addictions are, the psychological mechanisms underlying a TikTok addiction, and finally, some coping strategies. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out the rest of the channel.